Okay, um, I'm now going to demonstrate a different method of ground balance than the GPZ 7000. Essentially what we're going to use is a uh, ground balance aid in the form of a ferrite. And essentially what this ferrite does is it emulates certain components in the ground. Now, um, not all ground has large amounts of this material associated with it, but the ground that has varying amounts of it can impact on the ground balance of the GPZ 7000. So, um, this methodology will allow us to measure quite accurately right at the start of your uh, of your uh, session, and once you've achieved that result, then the uh, the auto tracking will then be able to basically just alter very slowly over time uh, as you continue detecting. So this method is my preferred method. It, I feel it gives a much more consistent result every detecting session than you say from the knowledge that you know that the detector is actually balancing correctly to this. It avoids the problem of large salt signals. Um, uh, and uh, target signals and things like that interfering with the, your ground balance process when you first start your detecting session. So I'll just demonstrate how this operates and how it impacts on the ground balance of the machine and what's the best methodology to actually get a good ground balance result using the supplied ferrite. Okay, coil held in the air. We've got a spot here where there's no metal objects. Place the ferrite on the ground. So you can see the ferrite there. Get yourself comfortable, you can hear the detectors clearly out of ground balance. Because we've just done a full reset. And here we go. Quick track button in. See how I'm doing these big lazy loops in over the top of the ferrite? The idea is to expose the core to plenty of ground in the in the location. And the, the ferrite as well. So what essentially the ferrite's doing, it's mimicking components that are in the soil in varying degrees. So it gives the detector a good hard look at what the ferrite signal is and then it'll combine that with the localized ground balance signal. And that's how you end up with really good data. That's long enough. Hit the release the quick track button and you can hear this detector is now running nice and quiet. And you can pump the coil So now we'll do it on um, general. Now once again, remember, when you do this process, once you release that quick track button, keep off the quick track button for the next 15 to 20 minutes as you walk around detecting to give the ground balance a good chance to get happy for the local area. Once again, you can hear it's making a little noise on the ferrite so the ground balance is out. Quick track button held in, here we go. Nice lazy loop. This happens quite quickly, but you wanna do it for 10 to 12 seconds to still. And all you're doing realistically is just letting the detector measure the local ground. There we go, we're pretty done now. So release the quick track button. Pump the coil a few times, that just finalizes things. No signal over the ferrite, which is what you want. And now if you want to, you can go back to your um, high yield. Now you can do that for every gold mode you want and every ground type you want and see how it's remembered. And that will then continue to refine itself over time. So once again, keep off the quick track button for at least 15 to 20 minutes to let the algorithm get itself up to sp speed. But now we have a very refined ground balance right from the get-go because we've used the ferrite. So it's a very useful tool to get this detector optimised right from the get-go, right from the start. <laughs>